morning collective. Let's dive right into the hierarchical autonomous agent swarm repo updates for today. So uh, number one thing right off the bat, we have a second uh, assistant. So there is the Haas board concierge, which is the original, as well as a new Haas assistant, which talks directly to the, GP, uh, the GitHub API. So it's a little bit faster. Both of these guys work really well and they work a little bit different. So here's the board concierge, the first one that was created. Um, I, I asked, you know, what are some best practices documentation? It read it. Uh, this one uses Bing. Um, so it's a little bit more uh, global search oriented. It works really well. It's just a little bit slow. But in terms of value added, it is incredible because uh, it's still faster than reading it manually. Um, and it will also cite all of the, um, all of the sources uh, and give you direct links. So this is a very powerful tool. The link for this one is right here, at, right at the README. So if you're looking to get involved in the project and you want to get caught up, these two, these two GPTs are the absolute best way and the first thing that you should do to start asking questions. So the second one is the one that was just created by another member of the community called the Haas Assistant. And as you can see, this one uses the API. Uh, and so this is really good for you ask it and say like, what are the discussions? What are the bounties? Um, and so in this case, I said, uh, don't look at the issues, look at the discussions. It'll surface the correct discussions for you. Um, and so this is, it's a little, it's substantially faster, um, but it's got a slightly different focus. So you can use both of these. And like I said, they've both been documented um, on the main page uh, as well as in the wiki, which I'll show you closer to the end of the video. So if you're wanting to dive in to the agent swarm, um, these are the very, very uh, best ways to get started. So that's the first two touch points. So go ahead and close those tabs. Um, I go through literally every discussion issue and pull request um, once a day in, in the morning. So I went through it all and under the discussions, under the announcements, I have adopted a new format. So primary directives for today, uh, 2023, November 12th, make and use tools define and instantiate agents, and then finally swarm architecture and communication. So um, I have documented what I see as the top conversations and comments, uh, as well as a few uh, pull requests and wikis. So check out this. I'll, I'll, this video will be linked here. So if you're watching this video, you might have already seen it or vice versa. But check out these conversations um, and then dive in. So this is basically kind of a high level, the three primary categories of things that we're trying to solve. Now, there's a lot of conversation around agent to agent conversation, um, like direct agent conversation, uh, whether it's locally inside of a container or whether you use uh, an external API, something like uh, you know Kafka or Redis Q or you know something. Um, I suspect that in the long run, it will depend on the kind. So for instance, for real-time communication, we can use something like AMQP uh, or Kafka, which allows for public uh, uh, pub sub uh, in order to have real-time chat between agents because then you have routing keys and you can ha you can have uh, you know one to many broadcasts, you can have producers and consumers. Um, but then we'll also need something that is a little bit more static. So that would that would mean maybe using to a uh, database, whether it's you know PostgreSQL uh, or Pinecone or ChromaDB or whatever, but something that is a little bit more static uh, in terms of accumulating uh, information and then refining stuff. Uh, but you know, honestly, something that's kind of emerging to me is that uh, a GitHub repo actually might be an, an ideal uh, touch point for a swarm because you can break things down into wiki. So if you decide that something needs to be documented, you create a wiki for it. If there's something in an issue that you spot, you create an issue. If you're ready to solve a problem, you submit a pull request. And if you just want to talk about something, discussions. Then there's also actions, projects, and some other stuff that we're not using. So maybe the best touch point for a swarm is a GitHub repo, at least uh, in the early days, as we discover what's what's working and what isn't. So um, yeah, if someone wants to actually use uh, the the GitHub uh, API as the single source of truth, that might be a better way to go um, for now because it's a single API and it provides a lot of the tools that we need rather than reinventing the wheel. So um, in terms of addressing these things, uh, this might be the way to go. And of course, uh, one of the main pillars of getting to fully autonomous AGI is the ability to fully automate the process of, of software development. So 
if someone wants to do some experiments uh, of, of pointing some agents and assistants at a GitHub repo, not this one, this one is a human GitHub repo, but if someone wants to, wants to do a demonstration of, um, of creating a brand new repo and having the primary touch point of, of interacting with it being the, the agents, the assistants, to write wiki pages, to discuss issues, to submit pull requests, I think that's probably going to be the best way to go right now. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, one of the uh, key things that I wanted to point out was pull request 88. So we have um, O. Wiggins Hay has been a very active contributor um, and has submitted a really phenomenal pull request. I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, it's all under Toolmaker. And so this is uh, some some pretty pretty impressive code. And there's also some demonstrations out in the discussions. Um, but And I think I've got the, the tab pulled up here. Uh, yeah. So this is the this is like basically the MVP or the minimum viable minimum viable agent, so the MVA. Um, so I really appreciate the work that um, that Wiggins has done, and Wiggins has actually been promoted to being the second contributor, the second collaborator. Um, and so now we have two folks that have been deputized that have full uh, authority um, across the entire repo to uh, create, destroy, add, merge, whatever. So. Thanks, guys, for jumping in. Um, and so basically, if you want to jump in, please jump in. I deputize people based on the quality of work that they do. And so the, the two primary signals is, one, the quality of work that they do. Um, and also, I guess before that is, do they seem to understand the project? Because I'm basically deputizing people that I don't need to manage. That is how a drone swarm works is you get it. So I'm just going to go ahead and empower you and I'm, I'm going to enable you to do what you need to do. And um, I will continue orchestrating from uh, behind. Well, I guess not behind the scenes, uh, but you get the idea. So yeah, this was um, this was a great contribution. We're getting better at making some of the tools. I also have some of the videos documented. Um, so if you go, uh, let's see, where where did I have the videos documented? I think the best way to spot it is going to be here and going to the um, going to the discussions um, because there's some some of the folks have linked videos demonstrating their work in the discussions. Um, I'm not going to re uh, repeat it here, but there's lots of good stuff out in the out in the conversations. So moving right along, uh, here's an example of someone who who this is really good work um, in terms of uh, someone created a new GPT. And then had a video demonstrating it. So this is this GPT is an action creator, um, which is basically like uh, make an action that will go um, talk to the Reddit API and find the latest on autonomous AGI. So let's see what that does. I, I recognize that I moved a little too fast yesterday, so I'm going to be a little bit more patient. Um, but you see, okay, cool. Oh, it seems there's an issue. Interesting. Okay, so it's it it ran into an issue and it's going to try again. Uh, but this uh, the the video demonstrating this was really impressive, and this is the uh, this is the the level of work that we're trying to do. Um, and it, even if it doesn't work perfectly, it's fine because the idea is we're trying to build the tools that build the tools. And if we can make the tools that can that can automate as much of the process as possible, well, then guess what? It doesn't even need to be a human calling the tool maker. It can be another agent making the tool maker. So. This is a really important step, the action, the action generator. Um, so let's see. It looks like it kind of gave up <laughs> and said, okay, here's how you can do it. This is actually really good UX because it, 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 it gave it a, a try and then failed. So um, yeah, but again, this is, this, is how, this is how we rapidly iterate. So move fast, break stuff. If it's not broken, we're not moving fast enough and we're not trying hard enough to break it. So good work on that. I'm... <laughs> I am not concerned that it didn't work, but if you want, uh, check out the video. So this is um, this is conversation number eighty four, uh, which was linked in the today's announcement. So check this out. Um, and then, so this is where we're getting to a little bit more higher level abstract stuff. So uh, the three pillars of today's directives are uh, number one, the tool making and tool use. So we were just uh, talking about that. Um, then the minimum viable agent, so instantiating and defining what a minimum viable agent is. Please jump into that discussion. It's super useful. And then finally, um, very much higher level stuff, talking about, okay, well, if you have one swarm, how do you orchestrate that, that individual swarm? But then also, if you have multiple swarms talking to each other, how do you do that? Because the, because the GitHub API seems like it's kind of a good one-stop shop, we might start there. 
Um, so, but then that's basically like one repo talking to another. But uh, <laughs> as I commented here, let's get one swarm working first, but I'm really glad to see that people are thinking about having multiple swarms uh, coordinate and collaborate because then you might end up with swarms of swarms. Uh, basically, you might have one swarm that's kind of managing things and, uh, and instantiating other swarms and evolving them. There's also been some conversations, as I mentioned yesterday, about how do you steer swarms and how do you improve them over time. So this is good. These are good conversations to have, but we're not there yet. So again, uh, one thing that I will that I will say is one of the primary uh, one of the primary things that we've discovered, as I documented it here, is signal to noise ratio. Um, so signal to noise ratio is the primary problem to solve with human swarms, and it is also the primary problem to solve with agent swarms. So uh, you know, I I will close discussions that are off topic or that are you know, that are out of scope. Um, I will uh, remove people if they're being too disruptive. We've only had one person um, need to be removed from the project because they were just completely out, off base. Um, but that's to be expected with a completely pub public project. And so by focusing on maintaining go a good signal to noise ratio, this is the number one principle that we have discovered, both, both in this project as well as in the ACE framework project, is the hardest problem to solve. Because once you, once you find ways and like general principles to squelch the noise and, and, and surface the signal, then that's when work really gets done fast. So if someone wants to work on that from a theoretical perspective or a practical perspective, how do you have agents? And oh, so by the way, I read a lot of the comments on the video yesterday on YouTube, and someone basically mentioned the same thing. You basically need a moderator agent. Uh, so that's another uh, possibility to work on. Um, so one of the last things that I'll, that I'll leave you with today is I've created a, form, a few more wiki pages. Um, every member of the, of the community should have access to update these wiki pages. So one thing that I want to see is, thanks guys for jumping in on the issues and the pull requests and the discussions. Um, I did have someone request to create projects, um, so the two collaborators can be use this. If we don't need it, we don't need it, that's fine. Um, but I would like to see people capturing um, some of the best practices and insights on the wikis, uh, because these are really useful kind of like uh, sources of truth. And I've, I've asked a few people to start documenting what they've got on the wikis. So uh, the door is open. Please make sure that the documentation is there because it is super useful stuff. And then the very last thing that I'll say is we've got the, the you know a roadmap wiki and then, um, and then the assistant best practices wiki. And so then the very last thing, sorry, is um, also if you want to get a feel for what's going on, the insights tab is very, very helpful because uh, it'll show you who's doing what It'll show you like it, this is like such a great dashboard. So you can look at the issues, you can look at the pull requests, um, and then you can see like kind of what has been going on. You can also look at the uh, the contributors. Obviously, like I've done the most. Guillermo has done a lot. Wiggins has done a lot, and then Fire MMDC um, is also uh, rising quickly as as a top contributor. So basically, what you can do is say like, okay, who's done the most, and then you just you know, figure out what, what they're saying that, you know, the leaders, um, we can look at the community tab as well. This isn't quite as useful. I think that, I think that the pulse and the contributors are probably the best places to look, but yeah, so let's see community standards. Uh, it looks like I need to add a code of conduct, uh, security policy and issue templates. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Jump in. Um, we've got a lot of momentum and, uh, you know, early success is fast. And we're rapidly coming to realize what the challenges truly are, such as the swarm orchestration and agent-to-agent -agent communication. But um, there are people doing some experiments on that. So thanks, for everyone, for jumping in. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Make it so.